Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to another edition of How Worth It Was This Abyss Run, otherwise known as Was This Abyss Run Worth It? I just feel like that's a better title, even though technically every Abyss Run is worth it to a certain extent, because just like Act 6 Completion, it brings you one step closer to the Thronebreaker title, but the Act 6 Completion is a little bit easier for it to be worth it, because, of course, you have that as a blanket uh, requirement, whereas the Abyss isn't a requirement for the content itself, but rather it's the content that gives you a tier five class catalyst of whatever class the algorithm decides to bless you with. And so you take what you got from completing the abyss and you make it into a six star rank three champion. So with that being said, I don't know who Andrew 89 is hunting for or Drew Burt, as he also calls himself. But what I do know is that he's starting off with five-star amazing luck in Captain Sparkles. This is also uh, clearer than some of the pasts because, yes, he utilized Dropbox, and I appreciate that. Dropbox and Google Drive, in general, seem to be the best ways to send me crystal opening commentary submissions. The absolute worst way is Twitter, followed by the Line app, just because of the way that it compresses the video and makes it look like you're staring at an old VHS tape quality. But, uh, okay, so... Let's see if he can build on that five-star Captain Sparkle's luck. That would be amazing, but that is a painful troll roll from Black Widow Clairvoyant to the 1980s wrestler dude who looks like he just made love to a rug on his shoulder. And the champion is not the champion of anything that I'm going to expressly recommend you take to rank two as a six-star or certainly above rank two. So, uh, sorry, bud, not today. Second of the two six stars is another chance. Yes, it actually stopped. Can you imagine if it was a second of two troll rolls with her? That would just be all time. But hey, now I know this. I can at least cheer on you to get Mystic for one or both of the uh, big ticket abyss completion items. But now you're doing me a favor and you are going to this. Okay, look at that. Okay, so he's got Sunspot. So if he gets Mutant... Taking Sunspot to rank 3. Skill, Stealth Spidey. Science, Human Torch. Cosmic, either Venom or Captain Sparkles. He's also got Omega Red, looks like, Unawakened. So you really could use uh, the ability to awaken Omega Red. That's a really solid 6-star roster, especially when you now add Black Widow Clairvoyant. Good work, bud. The algorithm has blessed you. Okay, so as we said, Human Torch will be your science. Scale will be stealthy. Uh, sunspot, or if you awaken Omega Red. Do you have anybody? Venom Captain Sparkles. Do you have anybody in tech, though? Darkhawk. Tech would be the absolute worst. Because Darkhawk Unawakened is not worth taking to rank 3. But before, I'd argue you didn't have anybody. But now, Black Widow Clairvoyant, you do have somebody. So basically, anything but tech. You have like an 83% chance to have somebody that you're excited to take up. And that is very exciting stuff. Okay, so he's going to probably start with the Awakening Gym, you'd think. It's generally what happens. Yep. We're rooting for Mutant. I think the best champion he has to awaken for the sake of his roster future is Omega Red. And Survey says, Cosmic, you can awaken Sparkles. That's awesome. Okay. You have... A lot more options than I usually commentate, which is fantastic. Personally, I'm going to be rooting for anything but tech. But if you had to say, Prof, you can only have one class, I think I might choose Mutant for a Sunspot. But pretty much tied with that is Light Blue or Cosmic, since he can now awaken Sparkles and take her up. And it's very rare to get the same class on both items. All right, here we go. There's the Light Blue. And hey, aren't you glad that you pulled Black Widow Clairvoyant? That went from thinking, well, that sucks, and I have to wait for Black Widow Clairvoyant or Doctor Doom to being really excited because you actually, it's so rare, got help with your rank three options thanks to the six star shards from the Abyss completion run itself. That is exceptionally rare. I don't even know if that actually has ever happened before. So there she is. You can awaken her. But you can take up her to rank three, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's thinking about as he is showing us the roster to end it on. Uh, <laughs> he's also just shaking up his roster in general, playing around. Well, thank you again, Andrew. 
89 for the crystal opening commentary submission. This was a really fascinating abyss run that was totally worth it. And as always, I appreciate these submissions. We have so many coming in between this and Act 6 because, yes, Cyber Weekend is less than a week away. People keep asking when it is, and I keep saying it over and over again. Friday, November 27th. This coming Friday is when those deals should drop if it's the same time that they dropped on Cyber Weekend 2019 and if it's in lockstep of the continuing of the Friday all weekend to Monday deals that they continued for the second time on July 4th weekend, technically starting on July 3rd of 2020. The fact that I have memorized that so much makes me feel like I fill my head with a lot of useless knowledge, but uh, I guess it wasn't totally useless if I got to use it in a video. Anyhow, have a great rest of your weekend, YouTube, and happy Crystal Opening Commentary Weekend in general.